Hey guys, how's it going? I am doing awesome today. Uh, this is a very special gameplay that I got. Well, it's not very special, but it's decent. Um, I just want to get this out of the way because I have some really good, like, this is a really good gameplay, but I got even better coming on the way. I end up going 83, no, 85 to 13. This is from the Nuketown 24-7 um, weekend bonus. And I have a lot of clips from that that I'm going to be posting uh, videos. So I'm going to try and mix it up. Maybe we'll do like two Nuketown and then one something else and go like that. Because I have a lot of good Nuketown footage. And uh, yeah, you should be seeing that whenever I post those videos. So um, anyways, for today's topic, really what I just want to talk about was the Skyrim Online. Because that game looks so much fun. Like me, I own Skyrim. Like I, I've had it for PS3. But honestly, I got the level 8 in the game, which, if anybody knows, that's not a whole lot. Like, I don't know what's the highest level. I think it's level 50. So I did not play that much at all, and I just quit. I just, I didn't like it. But I'm just seeing the online version, and it looks so amazing. Like, I've always been drawn to shooters. Shooters are my favorite game. But there's just something about the online that looks good. Like, I've always liked playing, like, uh, Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online, and, um, a bit of World of Warcraft. Like, I don't really prefer World of Warcraft that much, but I, I like the see I like the idea of that type of role-playing RPG, and the fact that they're bringing Skyrim to that, it just, it looks so amazing. There was something about Skyrim that I really liked that I wanted to buy. It just, it wasn't the right thing for me, and I see the trailer, and I'm like, you know what? This looks amazing this looks exactly like a game i want to play because shooters don't get me wrong i love to play shooters all day long but they get a bit boring after a while and i just want to play something else that i can do by myself like play um play a role in uh, a campaign that's endless not like uh in call of duty where you just go on missions and you gotta like run to the objective the whole time in this you actually get to do what you want when you want you can go do a quest here uh, quest kind of sounds weird. You can go do whatever you want, whenever you want. Just leave it at that. Skyrim looks amazing. Um, they haven't set a release date yet. It's supposed to be coming out sometime this year, 2013. Uh, I honestly, I think it's going to be coming out around November, December. Because that's really when, like, Bethesda usually... No, it's like at the end of October to November. That's probably whenever it's going to come out. Because no game really it's going to be coming out in june july and all that and if if they were going to up uh if they were going to um, release it in like uh, march or something we'd already know about that like we've known games that are coming out in march like uh gears of war which is coming out yeah gears of war judgment i'm also going to get that comes out in march but uh we've known about that release date for over a year now so i honestly I don't know what they're really selling about. I don't know if there's like a problem with manufacturing the game or they're still working on glitches. But I really do believe it's going to be coming around out around November to uh, late October. Because that's when a, a Bethesda tends to release a lot of their games. Like Dishonored, I think it came out on the 29th of October if I'm right. 29th, something like that. And i um, looking forward to getting that game, but right now what I need to do is I switched over to Xbox as everyone knows, but I have it for PS3 So I'm gonna have to go back and probably get Skyrim again for Xbox No, I'm not gonna get for Xbox I'm gonna get for PC because PC is honestly it's the best thing you can play for RPGs RPGs where you roam around like Fallout and all that they are the best for PCs, especially if you have a really good PC like I do. I always brag about having a great PC because I know my PC is fucking awesome. And I put a lot of hours into getting this computer. So I'm going to brag about it all I want. Uh, so I'm going to take this back. Um, I, I got it, I think, for 40 bucks because it was a used game. So it won't be too bad. I'll probably return to get like 20 bucks back and uh, buy for PC. I hope I can get... Uh, like uh, the um, the box set, the box set should be around sixty bucks, I believe. Now it's been it's been roughly a year and a half since it came out, right? Uh, so I should be able to get the box set of that game for around sixty bucks, which includes like this really cool dragon thing that I can just you know I can just put up somewhere randomly in my room because I've been meaning to like fix it all up. And um, comes with the giant uh, poster of the map, which I already have on my wall. But 
uh, there's probably going to be different posters in there all this cool stuff that I can have with it and I believe it comes with um, a guide to the game you know those giant ass books that are like they're bigger than your textbook like not in a page length but like just the how tall it is and how wide they're really big and they have photos on every single page and the, it tells you where to go in the game what the the campaign story is what's the best stuff to get how to unlock stuff and uh, it just it's really helpful if you're not if you're new to like um, Elder Scroll games kind of like I am but you know I'm never gonna read that I'm gonna look at it once open up the inside read a couple pages and then just screw it because that's what I do I I like to think of head of stuff but whenever it comes to like reading instructions and all that I'm like screw this I'm gonna figure it out my by myself by just you know experimenting with it and that's what I like to do I'm not gonna be on this thing you know reading it 24 7 until I finish that and then say you know what now I'm gonna do this no I, I can't do that I have to be experimenting I think it might have to do with, with the fact that I have ADHD and I get extremely bored from reading that kind of crap but you know what I'll read books like I got I got a brand new um, Kevin O'Leary book which if you don't know he's like a Canadian billionaire he's kind of like an idol to me because I'm um, thinking of going into business but you know what uh, but uh, yeah anyways um, moving on Skyrim online can't wait to get it in November whenever it comes out I don't think that that's the actual date oh yeah and I forgot to talk about the beta is gonna be coming out too in a couple months like I've been on their website checking that out so uh, the beta is gonna be pretty cool um, probably make a video of me playing that game if I'm even allowed to uh, post it but uh, if I am sure be um, I'll be posting videos of that but uh, yeah don't hold the date to me guys I'm not completely sure that's just an educated guess so uh, thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you guys in a couple days